This is the final segment of the Streets of Paris event. And it is very much like the bookstore in that I'm creating a faux business on the other side, on the side, uh, second floor of the building. And this time it's an apothecary. So let's get started. Now the window is constructed with the same kit, uh, very easy to assemble. And um, I approached it the same way as I did the bookstore. In this case, I'm going with a blue and white uh, color scheme. So I started by painting the window blue. And then you'll notice at the bottom, I have the same kind of paneling. I've got two pieces of paneling uh, on the front and also on the sides. And then I also used the same uh, mold to create the decorative scroll work that you see there. And for that, I painted it blue first and then rubbed some white paint on it. And you can see that the it, it goes with the white, um, the first panel that's white, then blue. And then I've been using the gold stickers to highlight the panels. But in this case, because I had the blue and white color scheme, I decided to go with uh, some silver trim instead. Now, just like with the other windows, I've got some awning. And of course, in, in terms of just dressing it up, I like using the awnings, but it's also going to hide the uh, the tea light that I'm going to use as the lighting in this one, just as I have in the others. And so I do have that awning for you on my website that you can download and uh, put it together to make your own awning. And the other thing I also did is, is use the signage in the window. Um, this is uh, an image that I printed on a piece of transparency film. You see that the, the uh, name of the store, Apothecary in French, and then you've got the little symbol and some more writing below. And again, I have that for you on my blog. So if you want to use that, or my website is, so if you want to use that, um, you can print it on transparency film and put it in your window as well. And for the size of the windows, I use the same faux plastic that, that looks like glass uh, to uh, add to the sides of the windows. In terms of the stuff that I put um, in the window itself, I'm also gonna have shelving like I have for everything else, but at the bottom, I decided to put uh, some of these jars and then you can see the, the gold scales with the little weights. Now the jars, um, these are really cute glass jars. And what I did was I put some alcohol ink in each of the jars and then added some rubbing alcohol so that it would stay liquid. And then I ran a bead of glossy accents around the top and glued the lid on top of that. And the thing is to make sure that you get a really good seal uh, with the glossy accents. You could even add a little bit more after if you don't think it's sealed so that the liquid doesn't evaporate. And then the alcohol, uh, the rubbing alcohol will keep the alcohol ink um, blended so that it'll stay colored, the colors. And so I just used a yellow and a green and then kind of a brown and a red. And then those are the bottles that you see at the bottom of the window. Now for more display area, I'm again using glass slides and I'm using some filigree that's been bent into an L shape to make an L bracket. And this is a different filigree than I've used on, um, on the other window. So I've just been trying to use a combination of thing, different things so that you get lots of ideas that if you can bend it into an L shape and there's enough surface area, then you can use it as a bracket. And then I have the two uh, glass slides and, and you have to be mindful of where you put them, uh, one so that uh, if you know what's going to be in the bottom, which is what I did first before I decided where I was going to put my shelves. And then to make sure that the shelves aren't too close to the edge. And then you can see that I've cut a back piece because this kit, um, it, it, it uh, doesn't come with a back piece because you can, you can use it to look all the way through. But I just cut out a piece of chipboard the size of the back. And then note the two holes, just like with the bookcase, um, I'm going to attach this to the wall by hanging it onto nails so little, two little tiny nails and so I went ahead and made uh, the holes in the um, in the backing and you also want to be mindful of the shelves based on where those holes are and then I use those holes to transfer the mark onto the wall of of the uh, building so that I know where to put the the um, the little uh, the little nails in and I pre poked the holes just like with the bookcase and then glued them in with some E6000 and glue them in at an angle so that it, it's, it's hanging so that it can support it. You don't want it straight because it might slip off. So just at a little bit of an angle and you, you need to keep that in mind when you decide where to put your holes. And I would also suggest like with the bookstore that you put your, um, that you put your uh, awning in place first. So that way you're sure when you put your window in there that it's going to tuck just underneath the, uh, the awning, make your marks, 
put your nails in there. And then I ended up after the nails, the, the E6000 dried in the holes with the nails, I ended up adding a little bit more just to make sure that they were really secure. And you won't see them because this will be hanging uh, on, on the nails. So it doesn't matter if, you, if there's some glue there, it's better to make it strong and sturdy. Now in terms of decorating the glass shelves, um, you can see I've got more bottles. The, at the bottom shelf, I've got uh, three little amber bottles and I filled them with uh, spices from my um, spice cabinet. And then I've got some little labels and this comes from a, a label sheet that has a lot of really cute things and it's called witchy labels. And there's a lot of really small labels that are good for bottles that size. And the caps are just bead caps uh, turned upside down for the lids. And then um, all of the all the poster work that you see, the vintage um, drugstore posters for different products and whatnot, that comes from a new collage sheet that I have. And then I also have a digital uh, kit version of it where you get a whole lot more labels. So you get in the digital kit, you get everything that's on the collage sheet plus a whole lot more there. I think there's 29 ads all together with. And so I've attached those both to the shelves and then behind. And one of the things that I've made sure to do, especially when you see the one on the left side that's called gargling oil, I pop that up a little bit from the back because once that nail pokes through the hole, I don't want that poster right up against the wall because it needs a little space. And then the same thing with the girl on the second shelf on the right. I actually added a bead behind it so that it's glued to the shelf with a bead. And so it's, uh, it's away from the wall itself. And the same thing with the little boy, I actually curved the, um, the poster, the image, and then put a bead behind it. And, um, then you also see some more of the bottles up top. Those are pre-made bottles that I just, again, from that collage, I added, I added, uh, labels from that. And then also keep in mind in your placement of shelves, if you're going to have a hole in the top of the window, like I have to, uh, to stick in your, um, your light, you want to make sure that it's not going to, uh, the, anything you put on that shelf, it's not going to interfere with the, with the bulb of that coming down. So that's also something to think about. So now that I've got this all put together, now I can actually glue it to the window. Now you can see the window completed and in place. And then here you can also see it with the light turned on. And then the only other thing that I wanted to add uh, to this is to give it just a little bit more of a cool touch. I decided to add some signage that went along and you've seen me add signage for the other businesses too. And I'm using that same uh, set of scroll work, die cut scroll work. It's got lots of different pieces in it. And in this case, I used a little bit bigger piece and I did that because I wanted to hang a whole bunch of signs. And so I've taken a bunch of the uh, posters from the new image sets and used those. And I printed them twice so that they look the same from both sides. I glued the top one to the scroll work that's been painted black. And then I just used jump rings to hang the other signs. And I thought that looked pretty cool because you see places like that where they've got advertisements. They got multiple advertisements hanging, um, signage that's, that's hanging on a building. So that completes the series. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have in building it and sharing it with you. And even if you're not interested in doing exactly this, I hope that I have shared some things with you that will help you in the other projects that you tackle. And as usual, uh, there'll be a link in the description area where you can jump over to my blog if you wanna download the free images, you want the complete supply list for this particular segment, and also information on the new image sets. And uh, I'll be back before too long with Halloween projects.